So here's another way that I'm thinking about putting the magnet for the hall sensor. So this is a modification of the part from the gimbal, which normally with the TLE 5011, uh, 5010 uh, magnetic resistor sensors, it's a small little round, I think five millimeter magnet. Um, it gets stuck in there. It comes with the kit. So here, it still fits into the slot. All right. Oops. It's a little bit tricky to get in straight. Um, probably best way to do it would be with a flathead screwdriver, which I don't have with me. But basically, you kind of, oops. Still has the, the circular ridge for it. So let me just slide it over. There you go. And then you would glue that in. And then that would be for, I, I don't have one of them here, but it would be for the sensor board that would then rotate. But if you're using just a uh, Hall effect sensor, like a, a little chip like this, which are much more affordable and much more accessible in a lot of places, um, like this is one from the Authenticate um, setup, I can just use a uh, 1.5 millimeter driver, just poke it through and I can get that magnet out, saying I didn't glue it in, of course. Then we have a 8 mil by 3 magnet, and that can slit right in there. And then we'll have a mounting like this. And then that's how we're going to read the axis. Just because the other method that I was showing in the last video, it's not linear. So even though it gets good saturation of the axis, it doesn't, um, it doesn't have a linear response. So I'm going to include both options in the design for having it mounted there or mounted at the back, because if you you can add a curve into the uh, the software, and if I actually open up FreeJoy here, I don't have it plugged in, but with FreeJoy you can actually uh, where is it? You can program in a curve to straighten out the response, which is necessary for that setup where the magnet's tilting because it's off axis. So as the angle, you know, because you're not sensing in the middle of the axis, you're sensing off to the side, there's a little bit of trigonometry involved um, and that requires you to straighten the response. Whereas if you have the sensor directly on axis with the pivot, it then doesn't require, it doesn't have that off centeredness to it. And it doesn't require that, uh, that concent concentric uh, positioning or um, it, it has the concentric positioning. It doesn't require the curvature to straighten it out. Um, but yeah, it'll still work with the TLE boards, which I have a couple I'm waiting for from uh, AliExpress. It'll still work with those. Um, it'll mount just on the bottom, but it'll also work, oh, the magnet. It'll also work by inserting that magnet and it'll just attach. This is the test ring. Uh, just, it'll just go. Oh. Right under there. This version doesn't have the, the mounting holes and it's, it doesn't have the magnet hole there, but that's where it's going to attach. Um, and then these go run to the back here into the control board. Um, but yeah, progress is being made. I was flying in VR with this uh, last night and it was working really great. Uh, I still need to do some more stiffening. Like I, I want to print a bracket that attaches here all the way back here just to prevent any flexing in here um because if i push it you can kind of see that see that how this is moving a little bit so that's still to be done uh need to print a cover to go over that um, and then the after that the base pedals will be done and the next uh thing to do is to work on the toe brakes which if i go over here this is the uh, hemp stick design pedals. Um, there's the uh, the old Thingiverse project. I can't remember. It's a German name, but the, the, the old pedal design that I did years ago that I have on this channel. Um, these are F-16 style pedals. I'm going to try and design something similar that'll mount basically there. But the one thing I am going to do different is I'm not going to do the F-16 style uh, lightning holes simply because the um, these things are really uncomfortable when you're barefoot. And let me show you. Take my, get some posts and feet. She started on OnlyFans. Um, when you have pedals like this, it's very easy, at least for me, to 
get your toe caught in it like that and that can be very very unpleasant so it'll probably be solid or maybe it'll have like two or three three holes maybe like the f-18 style pedals um but yeah that'll that'll attach here and here and i have to design a whole mechanism that like you know clears it out so that it can fit onto the the mounting piece here but yeah the pedals are are chugging along um i still hope to have them done by the end of the summer you know and i know uh flight simming is kind of uh you know not as active for a lot of people in the summertime because they're outside so i'm not in a super rush but i definitely want to have it done for the the, the fall um or like by the end of summer so people can produce them in September and then have them ready for the fall and winter when people actually jump back into their virtual cockpits. Um, and yeah, and then I'm gonna have a follow-up episode showing off all the new pieces. Like now the cable comes out of the side here. I have these side covers um, that go on there. This is redesigned a little bit. It now has a little space so that the aluminum is not touching the floor. If you've got hardwood floor, it doesn't scratch. Um, this already showed off with the, the split, um, but yeah, progress is being made. So I hope to have a real episode out soon. The next episode will probably be about how to set up FreeJoy with the new PCBs um, from uh, PCBWay, because they, you know, they, they gave it to me, so I, I want to show it off, uh, especially since uh, I see some of you guys are buying it from PCBWay on that page there. Um, which is really great. It helps me a little bit. Um, but the thing is I haven't actually explained how to set up the extra axes. So, um, that is to come.